Hey guys, it's Melanie and welcome to today's video. I am super excited for today's video because as you can see by the title, we are doing some crafts more specifically. We are doing some beaded crafts, which is so fun because I know charms and beads have been all the rage recently and I personally have been in love with accessorizing with them. So to get started, we are gonna have to make a quick run to not any craft store, but Bead World. It's like bead galore and I need to pick up a couple things for these crafts. We made it to Bead World. Guys, I freaking love this place. So we just finished at Bead World. It's kind of crazy that I spent like an hour and a half in there and almost $60 to come out with just these beads. But I swear it's for like five different crafts that I'm so excited to get started on. I picked out so many cute little charms and I swear being here is like heaven to me. I just love looking around this bead store. It could entertain me for an entire day. I am super satisfied with all of the beads I picked up. I am gonna have to stop off at Joanne's to grab a couple of extra things on the way home believe it or not but after we get that we are gonna get started on all of our beaded crafts so it's clearly much later in the day it is completely dark out because running my little bead errands took quite some time we are gonna be making four different beaded crafts and i am super excited for all of them i am a huge beaded girl and jewelry fanatic and i love it even more when i can personalize it and make it for myself or other people as gifts so let's get straight into it all right guys, so this first craft is a little DIY charm bracelet. This is super up to your own interpretation. Y'all know charm necklaces are super in right now, so you can take this and apply it and turn it into a necklace or an anklet or literally anything that you want. To be quite honest with you, a lot of this jewelry making is more for inspiration because once you get the hang of what supplies to get and like how to open a clasp and close it, your options are pretty much endless when it comes to making things that you think of. That being said, I am making a tiny little dainty charm bracelet today. I found this charm necklace in my jewelry box and I've been in love with it and I want like a similar bracelet where the charms are really tiny. I have a lot of like chunky charm jewelry and I wanted some mini ones. So I picked up a bunch of adorable charms. I think they're all very personal to me. To be a little more specific with the supplies you will be needing, of course, the charms of your choice then you are going to be needing some wire cutters some pliers of your choice this type and this type basically do the same purpose for like what i'm doing it just helps you get in there and bend the wires and stuff i like having two but it doesn't matter if it's a rounded one or flat pliers for what we're doing today the third ingredient to this recipe not very many steps is these little two of course you want it to match whatever color metal you are using so i have these mini gold ones they come in a lot of different sizes i recommend getting the smallest ones if it's just for attaching stuff but you can also just get larger ones if you want it to match the size of your chain now it is super simple if you want to make your own charm bracelet from scratch you can also just buy at joann's or any jewelry store like a pre-made plain gold like plated bracelet for today Day, I'm gonna be using a bracelet that I already own and I think this is a super great way to like upcycle jewelry because I mean I already wear it but I think it would look super cute with charms not to mention it's really easy to add and remove charms so if I ever get sick of it I can just take the charms off and put it on a different piece of jewelry I'm going to actually take off this bracelet that I'm wearing right now so this is just a plain like gold plated beaded bracelet it was from anthropology it has one little fake crystal thing on it and i thought it would look 
perfect if it had more on it. So let's add the charms I got today. Here is my bracelet and I have all of my charms. I don't think I'm going to end up using all of these, but I do have a lot of options. So I'm just going to start kind of spreading them out how I would like it to look. Kind of like my little road map. I also have two chains like connected here. So I'm going to put different beads on each chain. All right, so this is the little outline for what I'm going for. They're gonna be loose and like move around on here. So I'm not really doing this by spacing. It's more so just by the placement. Now what we're gonna do is count out enough of these little hoops to match up with each of our little charm. Now that I have enough of these little hoops, we're just gonna start attaching them. Take two sets of pliers. You're gonna take your tiny little gold hoop and hold it in one set of the pliers. Take the other set, use it to just open it up by just twisting slightly. Take your charm and thread it through. And then you're also gonna put the chain in there and then you're just going to close your hoop. All right, so as you can see, the hoop is closed and now this charm is on here. Now I have my two charms. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep adding the rest of the charms I had laid out. Let's try it on. It is so perfect. I think this looks so cool and it is exactly what I was going for. This next beaded DIY is not actually jewelry. It's still a little accessory, but I've been wanting a cutie little personalized keychain. I'm redesigning per se. Car keys just because I want to personalize it a little bit more. And I thought what better way to do it than at the bead shop. Am I right? I just had this thick chain and I just looped it on to a little like key ring thing i don't know what it's called but i thought this would be perfect so it would be easy to attach it onto other things i know i'm gonna put it on my keys at first but like if i ever change my mind this little hoop will make it easy to slide it on and off of whatever set of keys i want once again this is literally the same exact concept as what we did with the bracelet and what we will continue to do just in a different form these are the charms i chose for my keychain i'm mixing gold and Silver, which some of you might think is disgusting, but I actually don't mind it. So let's arrange this how we'd like. Literally just open this and slide it through. I love it. I have this slightly larger silver little hoop and I'm just gonna bead both of these through it. And then I'm gonna attach it to the bottom. We're just gonna close it. I think I might actually shorten it a little bit or I'm gonna like reposition this hook. See my vision. I'm just gonna move it onto like this. I like this so much more already. I just need to choose something to put on this end one, which I think is gonna have to be my best friend's one. And then we're just gonna start opening and closing and attaching all of these. <laughs> I'll admit, you can't fully tell what all the charms are. I think that is part of the fun. It's self-expression. Guys, I think it's so cute. This is my little keychain. I already purchased a new like lanyard for my keys. And so I feel like this keychain is just gonna go perfect with what I'm already got started. So once that comes in and I attach this, I'm definitely gonna show you guys some updated clips. It makes me feel like I got a brand new car when in fact I'm just changing my keychain. And that is it for my second little beaded craft. <laughs> For the third beaded craft that we're doing today, this is our color scheme. It's a gift for none other than my very own mother who adores all things pink and sparkly. She specifically requested that I make her a phone like wristband because she's really afraid to drop her new phone. And I said, say less. This is right up my alley. I know that beaded phone charms, I feel like they've had their ins and their outs. They've been an accessory. They've been like a tool for 
functionality. I think they're so cute still. And I think they're even cuter when you make them yourself or you have fun charms added on. I got my mom a bunch of pink and sparkly charms that she likes. I also got her a couple personable ones that I think she will really like on her phone. The only additional supply you'll be needing for this is some string. This is what I'm going to be using. It's just like this very durable bead string, but you can also use like a thicker embroidery thread or anything like that as long as it's not like a stretchy thread that will break or snap. We're just going to start off by measuring. You can barely see this. It's like floss, but I'm just going to make it a little bit longer than how long I think it'll need to be. This is probably about 24 inches, but I'm not going to be using the entire thing at all. I'm going to fold this in half and then at this end where it's a loop i'm going to tie a little knot and i want my knot to be like maybe like an inch long this is how you attach it to your phone you want it to be wide enough and big enough to loop it through itself from here it's very very simple you're just gonna start beating onto both sides of the thread whatever pattern you want as mentioned i got a lot of pink beads We now have it fully beaded. You just want these two to be equal. And now we're just gonna tie like the heck out of these two ends. And now you have your little phone chain, but if you just wanna add an extra step further, I'm gonna also clip these onto this front part just the way we've been doing with all the other DIYs. This is my mom's finished little beaded phone chain. It's gonna match her phone perfectly. It's very pink and glittery and sparkly, which is just the way she likes it, and I can't wait to show it to her. You like it? Hey guys, it's the next day and I am super excited to do my fourth and final craft for this video. It did take a little while because I had to go to three different craft stores to find what I needed for this necklace I've envisioned. I did end up finding it, so thank goodness. I've been seeing these little like paper clip necklaces or carabiner necklaces and I just think they're so cute and a very creative way to make like a charm necklace. I made this one necklace semi recently kind of a similar concept except it's with a paper clip but I wanted to make one with the carabiner that's gold I like this one a lot but I do think the paper clip it's not even called a safety pin I always mix them up using this I feel like makes it a little more like grungy and I just want a more simplistic charm necklace and we are gonna put this necklace together it should be really quick and easy which I'm glad about because I want my new necklace to wear a sap so this is everything you'll be needing for the necklace pretty much everything is the same like to reuse necklaces that I don't wear anymore so that's what I'll be doing but you can also buy like a plain chain that comes with these hooks or you could add your own like clasps at the end you're gonna need these little carabiner clasps this is what i was looking for for so long and i ended up finding them at michael they came in a couple different sizes but i chose this bigger size because i have quite a few charms that i want to try to fit on there this is the plain chain that i am going to be using i'm just going to start by taking off this little charm now that I have my chain, I'm actually going to cut it in half and this is so we can put the carabiner in the center of it. I'm going to take one of these clasps. We are going to be attaching it to both sides of the chain like so. And then in order to do this, I'm going to take two of these little hoops to connect each side. Then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. So now that we have this attached onto our necklace chain, we're just going to attach all of our charms. So I'm first going to space them out how I want them to look on my necklace. 
So I unfortunately had to remove some of my charms, but this is what we are left off with. And I really like how this looks. So all we're gonna do is attach each of these onto this main piece. I'm just gonna do that with these medium size rings. I do think if I wanted, I could shove more charms on here, but I think I'm really content with how it looks a little bit more minimal. I just love this so much. I know this is going to be my new, it's not really a huge statement, but I think it's going to be my new halfway to statement necklace. I think it's so stunning and I especially love the charms that I chose. That is it for this four DIY. I love how it turned out. <music> Hey friends, it's Editing Melanie here to end off this video, but I just wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me on this fun beads and crafts day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration for what beaded charm crafts to make next. And if you make any of these inspired DIYs, I would love to see them. But other than that, thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.